Hello everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to another Minecraft resource pack review. Today we're taking a look at the 128X Woolion HD. Now Woolion is 100% updated for Minecraft version 1.7.5, including mobs and everything, so it is good to go in all aspects. Let's hop right on in and take a look at it. Here's a look at our armor, tools, and weapons. You see uh, some very nice changes to the armor. The, the chain looks, I mean, it looks like chain mail. How awesome. Nice indeed. The diamond armor has uh, has some, some unique changes to it as well. Altogether, a uh, very nice look from the uh, tools, weapons, and armor. So let's uh, hop right on into our building blocks here. Everything's got some very nice textures. Our, our ores, got a little sparkle going on the diamond. It's always nice to see a little glimmer there. And there's some of our stone. And here's the wool, with the uh, wool above, carpet below as always. Looking fantastic. Here's uh, ice, snow, and bricks. The bricks look pretty cool. The uh, mortar in between the bricks being uh, a little darker, it makes the makes the bricks stand out quite a bit. Now here's one of my favorite parts of the resource pack is the craftable blocks. Look at that emerald block. I mean, how badass is that? Diamond block looks nice. The gold, iron, they all look spectacular. Take a look at our slabs here. Looking very sharp. The uh, wood grains <clears throat> have some very nice textures in the mix, including the newer woods. Now the stained clays are very nice. They've uh, got a little bit of a porous look to them, as clay should, yet still uh, keep some nice bright colors. Here's the stained glass. The stained glass looks absolutely incredible. Uh, very nice trim work. The glass itself is clear. No, uh, no like errant pixels or anything going, so it looks amazing. Here's uh, the stained glass panes, along with some fantastic vines, ladders, cobwebs. The artwork still needs, uh, in my opinion, the artwork is probably the weakest part of this resource pack. But um, such a small part of the pack that it's hard to judge it off of that. Doors look absolutely incredible. The wood door looks really ornate. Very nice detail to it. Iron doors. Very sturdy indeed. Now look at the glowstone. Wow. Some real nice detail and work put into that glowstone. Uh, along with all of the nether related goodies. The nether nether rack looks spectacular. Look at the face in the soul sand. How cool is that? Very awesome. Now let's get over to uh, some of our redstone related items and craftables. Uh, the hopper looks uh, particularly mean. Very nice indeed. Chest looks amazing. Or I'm sorry, not the hopper, the dispenser. Derp. There's our hopper and the furnace looking incredible as well. Now we get over to our pistons, some redstone lamps and buttons, uh, switches, redstone torches. See those redstone lamps in action and the pistons. Looking very nice. Now the lever and the redstone wire on the ground, you see when it's activated it uh, has a little, little particle effect that comes off of it, which is pretty cool. And there's our redstone torches. Now let's uh, go ahead and take a look at some of the wood. The, all of the wood looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, the new woods, the old woods. Uh, you see the texture differences on the leaves. A lot of work went into the wood on this pack. Here's the oak in its various forms. Spruce. The spruce is looking just awesome. 
Uh, the planks look fantastic as well, as does the, the raw wood itself. Birch. Birch looks nice. The jungle wood. Look at uh, look at the jungle wood. The jungle wood is uh, would definitely be one of my favorites using this resource pack. And then we get into our newer woods, the Asatia. It's nice to see these woods uh, updated in their full glory. Planks look nice. The bark on uh, the Asatia trees looks awesome. And then the dark oak. Living up to its name. Looks very nice. Now let's take a look at some of the fences. And walls. They both look spectacular. And then our rail works. The, uh, the rails themselves look awesome. They've got that uh, metallic uh, gold rivets and such. Looks incredible. And here's our carts. Looking good as well. Bookcases, uh, anvil, and our uh, enchanting. Everything looks really sharp here. The bed has got a nice, uh, very nice quilted pattern. Looks comfy. And then, of course, our cherry topped cake. Now, one of my favorite parts of this uh, resource pack is the lava. But let's take a look at the water first. There's the flowing and the still water. They both look very nice. You see, even the still water has, uh, has a nice motion to it showing uh, some slight waves and currents. Now the lava looks just awesome. Check out the lava. It's animated in its uh, flowing and still form. The lava really does look incredible. Just amazing. Got the slag floating on top of the lava. Absolutely awesome. And then here's our flowers. A lot of detail has gone into them as well. Roses looking rose like, and the fern looking fern like. Now, as I mentioned, this uh, mod pack is 100% updated, so it does have our mobs in it as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. See, so here's the creeper. Creeper looks pretty cool. He's got a uh, kind of a sad face going on. Poor little guy. And let's see a skeleton. The skeleton looks badass. Got the bone face. Looking really cool on the skelly. Let's see, where is that zombie? Let's... Zombie's got his uh, got his denim on. Looking sharp. Let's see if I can get him to face this way. There we go. He's got his head turned over towards that villager there. But uh, you see we've got a nice, nice zombie face going there as well. And of course the zombie pig man. Ha <laughs> How awesome is that? Looking nice. See, and then we've got spiders. Oh, we spawned out a uh, skeleton riding spider. Or a spider riding skeleton, pardon me. But uh, you got the big old bug eyes going on the spider. A lot of detail went into the mobs on this pack. It's uh, definitely nice to see. See, Ocelot and Wolf. I'm not going to bother here now. Let's look at the villager. The villager has a very nice face to it. Come on, villager, face this way. Of course, the villager wants to uh, go and hide in the back. Let's see. Let's see if we can get another villager up. There we go. Now the villagers facing this way. You see the faces on the villagers. <laughs> the faces look kick-ass. I got the bald villager or balding villager. Very nice. The villagers look top-notch. And there's our horse and sheep, of course. The cow. Come on, cow. Face this way. Let's get some more cows. We don't want to look at cow butts. We want to look at cow faces. There we go. 
then we've got a uh, actual true real life cow face on the front of it the cows looking badass here's the uh, the old mushroom and the pig let's get some pigs going the pigs like to jump out and run around of course the pigs are, uh, are are very mean looking they're more like boars and here they come out and about to uh, scour the world but uh, all of the mobs look really really cool let's get a little daylight going here and then uh, last but not least we got the magma cubes and our blaze let's get a blaze spawned up in there very very nice now uh, the amount of detail and completion in this pack is really really awesome I see the iron bars here looking uh, slightly rusted and cool as hell let's go take a look at some of our uh, farmed goods and then we'll hop on into uh, the end and check out the ender dragon see the wheat looks like wheat nether wart has got a uh, very peculiar texture to it but it looks cool and there we got some taters and corn along with uh, our pumpkins and melons see the cactuses in the background right behind now here is our end portal you see um, it's got a nice it's got a cartoony look to it but it uh, it looks fantastic very menacing look at eyes green eyes glowing there let's hop on in and go take a look at that ender dragon Oh, look at this our pigs have gotten themselves through the end portal <laughs> now the uh, the end itself it's got full textures look at the enderman very menacing got those uh, white faces on them and then the ender dragon which uh, has its own texture as well which is very nice Come on, Mr. Ender Dragon, fly this way. He'd be all over me if I didn't want him to be. But uh, there we go. There's a nice close-up of the Ender Dragon. So definitely give uh, Woolion HD a look. It's um, a very much completed texture pack. And all of the textures look fantastic. All the way down to the menus and such. You see we've got uh, nice clean-looking menus. Very nice. I'll put the link to this texture pack down in the uh, description. Um, as always, thank you for watching. If there's any resource packs that you would like to see highlighted or spotlighted, please put it in the comments below. Woolion is definitely one of my favorites so far. In fact, I may, uh, if I can find a version of this that's patched up enough, I may end up using this one because everything does look so nice in one of my Let's Plays. But thanks again for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. See you soon.